Card Extreme <laughs> here. And it is card, dis card, uh, card discussion time. I do apologize for the noise in the background. I didn't have much time to actually, I didn't have proper timing to record this, so I do apologize for that. But we're gonna have the fi we're finally gonna have this discussion. We're gonna talk about all three of Harpy's pet dragons. Harpy's pet dragon, Harpy's pet baby, and Harpy's pet phantasmal. Um, players have their own various opinions in running these cards in Harpy's. Some don't run any dragons. Except for Phantasmal, some don't run Harpy's Pet because of level. And some just don't run any of them because they just like to stick to the standard ovation of Harpy's and, you know, just run rank 4 spin. Uh, so I'll just talk about each dragon individually and then I'll just get them on a board together and talk about them. So first let's talk about Harpy's Pet. Uh, this is the original of all the Harpy's Pet dragon monsters. Uh, level 7 dragon effect. Uh, gains 300 attack and defense for each Harpy Lady on the field. Now, in most cases, this used to be really good, you know, back in the old days. Um, when Harpy Chandler came out, dragons shot up the roof because there was only, like, two Prince of Harpy's pet dragon at the time. And Harpy Chandler, like she says in her effect, while you control a dragon-type monster, her level changes from 1 to 7. Um, initially, a lot of people were doing the, the level 7 plays because you not only had Harpy's Pet Dragon, but you also had the Dragon Rulers out at the time. Uh, Tempest, uh, primarily, a lot of Windex did run Tempest because of the fact Tempest um, was a level 7. It was a dragon. You can exceed with Chandler and make big eyes, Draco sacks for days. Uh, even when Master Blades came out, a lot of people continued to run Harpy's Pet because Master Blaze was one of the cheapest rank 7s in the game at that time to attain. Uh, now a lot of people don't run Harpy's Pet Dragon because it conflicts with a lot of the play styles that a lot of Harpy players play, which is rank 4 spam. So they just opted out for Dragon. There are some players who play 1, or there are some who play 2, just so you can have a consistent Dragon in the deck to search uh, when you discard a Harpy card for Harpy Chandler. Um, otherwise, it just sits on the board and is completely useless at that point. And a lot of harpy play, a lot of harpy players don't want to have a useless monster in the deck if all it's going to do is be used for exceed spam or discard fighter at a point where if you draw, it's going to be completely dead draw unless you draw like hysteric party, uh, harpy Chandler, or a card to discard it uh, out your hand for outlet. Because most people are not going to no tribute two monsters to normal summon harpy pet dragon and have it just sit on the board. So. Uh, that's uh, going over Harpy's Pet. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Level 4 Dragon, like the others. Um, except it accumulates attacks, accumulates effects for each Harpy monster on the board, except um, Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Um, so primarily for each effect, I think if you control another Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, I'm not sure I'll look that ruling up. Uh, and post it in the comment section, or someone can post that in the comment section. But, uh, so if you have one or more Harpy monsters, uh, your opponent cannot target Harpy monsters for attacks except Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. If you control two or more, uh, its original attack and defense are doubled. If you control three or more, once a turn you can target one of your opponent's monsters, one card your opponent controls and destroy that target. Now, before, there were many plays where I've ran Harpy's Pet AB Dragon. It was a useful utility monster. At the time, I couldn't search for it, so at times it became a dead draw. But you had cards like Flying Kamikiri number one, who can special summon it from the deck, and then all you had to do was play another Harpy Lady and play Elegant Egotist and bring it to board. Uh, but we don't run that card no more. Or a lot of us, yeah, a lot of us don't run Flying Kamikiri, so at point, Harpy Pet Dragon, like Harpy Pet, Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, like Harpy's Pet, just ended up coming out of the main deck. There are some players who do run it because it's a discard fodder. Um, like all the Harpy cards, you can search for it off of Hysteric Sign. Or you can search to summon your Harpy monster off of Hysteric uh, Harpy Chandler, with the exception of Harpy Sisters. Um, primarily, I mean, the first and second effect will already be done by then because you'll have Elegant Egotist with Hysteric Sign. You'll have Harpy Chandler, she's a Harpy monster, so... But really, there's your two, you get your bonus, and you get um, your defense, your Marauding Captain effect. 
Uh, the third effect, that's, you know, if you get a good hysteric sign, I mean, hysteric party off, and you can at least set up a couple of more heartbeat monsters to start blowing stuff up, um, especially if you have two of these on board. But I recently got into a Facebook conversation with another person, another harpy player, and I also got into a little issue with a harpy YouTuber about the fact that, well, it's true. Not a lot of us are going to run the same variations of harpy monsters, and a lot of us are not going to run dragons, uh, unless it's fantastical, which at the current state of the format, well, the last several formats, summoning harpy, uh, harpy monsters was pretty much so you can make AC plays because Phantasmal is a boss uh, dragon if you ask me. I mean, I don't see why not playing Harpy's Pet Big Dragon, but I don't play it because I'd have to utilize more room to keep it circulating. I have to at least make sure that it's going to be, I can if I'm not going to search for it, I can at least have it on board to make rebuttal plays, but it tends to just be another dead card. And it's sad to say it, but it's true. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't play it. A lot of times, a lot of people were preferring Harpy's Pet Dragon over Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon because they were, like many of us, we need, we want to exceed. We don't want to sit there and have another monster that's not going to be useful to the archetype. So a lot of people kicked out Baby and played Pet uh, so they can make rank 7 plays with Harpy Chandler. Although we became a dead draw at times. Uh, there was, what, Queen Dragoon Dijin, who can special summon a dragon-type monster from your graveyard. And while she was on the board, it couldn't be destroyed. Although its effects were, a lot of your uh, dragons that she brought back were negated. That was perfectly fine, because you got Harpy's Pet, Harpy Chandler, and you can exceed into it. Um, I guess last but not least is Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon. Uh, with the exceed mechanic in the current state of Harpy's when Chandler and it came out... Um, a lot of people were actually, like myself, surprised that it was rank 4 and not 7, considering how Chandler's effect changes her from a 4 to a 7. But with Harpy Harpist, Harpy Dancer, Divine Wind of Miss Valley, Elegant Egotist, and a lot of such summoning cards, you can easily go into Phantasmal Dragon uh, outside of the other three, other two dragons that um, Harpy's have in their arsenal. Uh, one thing I, a lot of the things I can point out about Phantasmal Dragon is that uh, you can attack your opponent directly. Uh, it protects all your Harpy monsters, including itself, uh, from being targeted by opponent's card effects and uh, being selected as an attack target. Um, although during the end phase, you'll have to detach your material from it, and it only gets its effects while it has material. Um, if you uh, special summon it, cor like, if you do the combo to special summon it correctly, you know, uh, discarding a Harpy for Harpy Chandler, such as summoning Harpy Harpist, play Ego, which is one of many combos you can play um, to summon Phantasmal. Uh, you can dis detach a uh, Harpist from Phantasmal and then search during the end phase for a Harpy monster like Chandler or a Harpy Dancer uh, to keep going into more plays. Uh, possibly some even meaning too, like myself. I actually used two Harpy's Pet Phantasmals um, with my Divine Wind Harpy deck, uh, if you guys haven't seen that deck profile. Um, I explained that it's really easy to get out to Phantasmal because you have the, you had the triple dancer set up, and you now have Harpy Harpist, who's another discard target or another monster you can summon off of Harpy Chandler to get into another Phantasmal. Um, outside of his other two, yes, it's not in the main deck, so you are required to exceed summon it. But if you're running any like for instance, you think you could summon Harpy Pet Phantasmal, even though they weren't Harpy deck. They could still play it because they had rank four. They had level four monsters who were win, and it was a good out to a lot of problematic decks that um, Yosin you had to deal with, uh, which is a prime example of monsters in deck. The versatility that Harpy's Pet uh, Phantasmal has. Um, if we want to get into more of a linear sense with all the dragons, of course, Harpy Chandler can can easily help summon them or give more utility to them. But a lot of players choose not to run certain cards. Which is why I also wanted to have this discussion about Harpy's Pet Dragons in general. Because some of us aren't going to play cards that you're going to play. Uh, for all you other Harpy players that you know sit there and attack other Harpy players because they choose not to. And I've recently stopped doing that. Because 
in a sense, I may be hurting someone's feelings or maybe ridiculing another Harpy player for the fact that they play a certain Harpy card. And at that point, it's not fair. So um, that's also why I wanted to have uh, this recording because I w want people to understand if you're playing Harpies, like if you're playing any other deck, you can choose how you play your deck. There's no wrong way of playing it. It's just be very strategic about how you do such because you don't want to end up in a bad situation. Um, like, for instance, say you draw, if you play Harpy's Pet, here's a suggestion. Play cards that you can discard Harpy's Pet in case you don't want to play it. And if you want to recover it, there's Queen Dragoon Jin, I got so Emerald, uh, or just more recovery cards, and special summon cards that you can use to put your dragons into play. Um, with Harpy's Pet Phantasmal, I think it's really easy if you run a win deck and can generate three wins and put it on the board. Now, you don't always have to put it on the board first turn <laughs> or put it on the board, you know, to recklessly just do stuff. But it's all about how a player constructs his, constructs his or hers deck to play their deck the way they want to play. And I feel with Harpies, especially with our dragons, we don't, we can choose to not play them if we don't want to. Um, we can just choose to run other monsters and other archetypes and stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much all I wanted to do and get out this video with this, this uh, card, card um, discussion. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, and whatnot. And until next time, you guys, this is your Extreme signing out. Take care.